Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're doing a comparison. So the iPhone 6S Plus versus the new iPhone SE, so special edition. And it is proven out to be quite powerful actually and very surprising for me. So if you go and check out my previous video, which was against the iPhone 6 Plus, there is quite a difference there. So there's a couple of things here that I want to talk about and go through. Some are uh, some app launches, some speed tests, a good old fashioned boot test and a comparison as well and some specs as well. So first of all, they are both running an A9 chip in them and an M9 chip. So my iPhone 6S Plus here is running a 5.5 inch display and the iPhone SE is a 4 inch display. So PPI is 401 on the, the iPhone 6S Plus and 326 on the iPhone SE. Okay, so let's have a look around the devices. So on the front here, it looks very similar. So I've got a silver ring on the iPhone 6S. I went for silver. We've got a gold one there and you can see gold at the bottom. So on top, you can see your FaceTime cameras. So my FaceTime camera is slightly different. Mine is a five megapixel one and an F2.2 where the iPhone SE is running a 1.2 megapixel and an aperture of f 2.4 okay so let's just have a look around the phones here so if i just bring them up here you can see here along the bottom you've got your speaker grill that 3.5 jack is still there at the moment we don't know if that's going to go on the iphone 7 lightning connection coming to the side view here you can see you've got the old circular volume controls here on the iphone se and the nice thin profile ones on the iphone 6s plus and your vibrate switch Coming around to the top there, you can see the camera no longer protrudes out on my iPhone 6S Plus. You can see that's popping out a little bit. It's not doing so now. So going around to the back of the devices, just lay that one down and lay that one down just next to it. You see the antenna bars there and the two Apple logos. So the cameras, they are both 12 megapixel cameras, both 4K recording. Mine has a digital optical stabilization on my phone because I've got the plus version, but it looks very good. And I have done a camera test, so please go and check that out. Link in description as well for that one. So just doing a size comparison, mine is 7.3 and the SE is 7.6 there. So not much of a difference. So coming around to the front, let's do a boot test. So first of all, there is no applications running. Get them both ready here. Three, two, one. Okay, so let's boot them both back up. So in three, two, one. Very close to see there. So you've got a passcode and you've also got Touch ID. So this is where the difference is. Touch ID on my 6S Plus is second generation. It's the latest one. On the iPhone SE, it is the same as the 6 Plus and the 6 and the 5S. So it's the older generation. Let's lock both of these and let me show you that Touch ID. So Touch ID will work as soon as I press down and use it. So I've registered these two fingers here. So three, two, one. You can see a difference there. So let me lock them again. So actually wake the screens up and then press on the fingers. You can see there it is quite different. And if you are used to using the iPhone 6S Plus, and how quick it is, it's very responsive. Sometimes you wanna just look at the home screen and it's already unlocked it for you. Anyone that's used to the iPhone 6S Plus version there of how quick it is to unlock and the iPhone 6S. Going back to the older generation, it's quite different, but I'm used to it on my iPad Air 2 as well. So sliding along, there's some tests I wanna do for you. So first one is speedtest.net. That's over Wi-Fi. So what I'm gonna do is switch them both on Wi-Fi mode. Okay, so that one has finished and let's start on the iPhone SE. So both these phones now have NFC and Apple Pay 
available to them. I have set my cards up on them and tried them. They both work absolutely fine. Haven't had an issue. So when you're near a wireless contact point, put your phone next to it. It'll ask for your touch ID and you're away, you're done. So the end of the wallet is coming, I think. So very close there between the two, which is nice to see. Let's go back home. So what I'm gonna do is just double tap this button. Dismiss these and then go back home. You can see how nice and quick we launch. So let's go into our next test, which is Geekbench 3. So launch in in three, two, one. Very close to see there. And you've got a little list of specs here. So if I just zoom in here, you can see that we're running two gig of RAM on both of these devices, the A9 chip. And let's do the test and we should have a very close comparison here. Okay, so very close to see here, very near enough identical. The iPhone 6S Plus scored 2,541 on a single core score, and the iPhone SE scored 2,560. Multi-core score, the iPhone 6S Plus scored 4,428, and the iPhone SE scored 4,451. So very close to see there, but slightly ahead. So if we jump into single core score, you can see what we compared against and what we came close to. So we scored that 2,541, just above everything. So 6S is there, iPhone 6S. And then there's the iPad Pro, our multi-core score there. So we just lost out there, we lost out there. So we are beating the iPhone, matching our score. So on the iPhone SE, our single core scores. And our multi-core scores as well. Which is very impressive to see. I'm very shocked actually. I thought it'd be near enough identical, but the SE was slightly ahead there. Okay, so let's load into the app launcher. So three, two, one. Dismiss. One, two, three. Okay, very nice to see. What we're gonna do is jump into the iTunes store and the app store next. So three, two, one iPhone SE there was ahead. Then we're gonna jump into the video store here. So three, two, one. Success is in front. There we go. Let's jump into a movie here. So we'll jump into Star Wars, three, two, one. Very nice, very quick to see. And then again, you can see how difference it is between the 5.5 inch display and the four inch display there. So going back home, three, two, one. Very nice, we've got the app store next. So three, two, one. Very quick, very nice and easy to do there. Going back home, three, two, one. Very close to see, cameras next. So launching your camera. So three, two, one. Very close there. Going back home. Next is maps. So three, two, one. Gone straight into my location there. This one is set in America for some reason. Gone straight into my location there. Very nice. So let me know what you think down below. To me, for the cost of the iPhone SE, Apple hasn't done much innovation but the power that they have put into the device is unbelievable. The two gig of RAM, the A9 chip and M9 co-pressor chip and the 64-bit architecture, which are in both of these phones now, is really impressive. You do get night shift as well on here. Someone said, do you get night shift? Yes, you do. By sliding up here, you can see night shift. So, there we go, there's night shift on this device and night shift on this device. So night shift is on these devices. Let me know what you think down below. Please leave a comment as it always is great to hear from you. Please give a thumbs up for the video and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye for now.